Thank you for being here this morning. We are doing four circuits, four exercises, three times through 40 second intervals, 40 seconds of work. I believe it's 10 seconds of rest. I can't remember exactly what the rest is. Grab your bands. We're going to use them every single circuit. If you do not have bands when we're doing something, you can, if we're squatting and walking, you can press on your thighs. That's one way. Otherwise, imagine that you have bands on. Um, hi, Vanessa, you're back. I didn't scare you. You're muted, so you can't. I can't hear your response. I'm, but <laughs> I'm so glad you're back. I was like, did I scare people yesterday? I was a little cray. Okay, let's get going. So you have your music, you have your water, you have a towel, you have your badass attitude. Get ready to work the booty and legs, a little bit of core today, not too much on the arms. Um, that's really it. That's really it. We're gonna stretch out first. So don't put, if you don't have bands, it's okay. Every move's still gonna work something. Um, bands just add that little extra. Oof. So let's, I hope you have a fantastic workout. 45 minutes strong. Let's go. Let's see what we got here. I want you to have a nice wide stance. Squeeze that booty. Toes are out. Shoulders are down. And we're taking a big deep breath in and out. I want you to clear your head. This is good for you and your booty. Good job. One more big one in. If you want, I like to think about what's my why today. Open up big. Open up that chest. And now give yourself a big hug. What's your why today? Are you here to shred? Are you here to get swole? Are you here to burn calories? Clear your mind. One more. Little babies. Little baby circles back. Little baby circles back. Hi, Nina. Hi, Meredith. Make those circles a little bigger. Are you here just move? Doesn't have to be anything major. I really do it for my mental health. Really big, really big. And reverse, reverse it, come forward, come forward. And now I want those sm to get smaller, get smaller. Baby circles coming forward. Hi, Whitney. Who else is connecting? Hi guys, I think that's Kate in there. Good job. And now just a nice step and reach. Really, I want it dramatic. I want your obliques to be like, oh, they're singing. Woo! I'll never do that again, I'm sorry. Reach, reach. And now I want us to hug our legs in. Hug them, squeeze it in. Core squeeze, booty squeeze in. Grab those stabilizing muscles to help you balance. Good, now when you grab it in, I want you to pull it over, okay? In, over, in, over. One more. I'm gonna pause for a second because I want you, if you have bands, I want you to grab one, put it around your ankles. Right here, right above your ankles. Um, you have, If you have a lighter one nearby, just keep it nearby. We're not gonna put it on just yet, okay? So I want you, here we go in our first circuit. We're doing a walk out. So come up to toe, squat down, walk it out like we did yesterday, right? Then I want you to come down onto your low plank, lift one leg, lift the other, walk it back, come back up to a high plank, walk it back, up, squat down, walk it out. Take this move nice and slow. First time you're doing it, right? Today, maybe you did it this morning, I don't know. All right, lift one leg, lift the other. High plank back up. Walk it back with your hands. Give me one more rep. One more rep. Good job. Get that low plank. One leg up. Other eight leg up. That's not a huge leg raise. Come back up. Yes, we only have 10 second rest. You are staying right here. You're up to standing. Take a deep breath in. And I want a walk forward. So it looks a little funny like you're sweep, sweep the leg. All right? Sweep the leg. Then go back. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Forward, it's a diagonal sweep. I want your core lit up. I want your shoulders down your back. Come back, so use your space. If it's three steps, it's three steps. If it's four, it's four. If it's one, you're going forward, you're going backward. Hi Sylvia, just use your space. Do it, forward. Let me see. All right, that was your time. Okay. 
actually really like this one. Let me make sure my feet are in. Hi, everybody. Give me a little squat. Little baby squat. Side tap. Bring it in. Diagonal tap back. You're going to that eight o'clock position. Bring it back in. Straight back, six o'clock. Come to the other leg. So you got a nine o'clock. What's over here? Four. I'm messing my clock up. Six. Okay. Three, four, six. Okay. Nine, seven or eight, six. So do the clock. So I want shoulders down your back. Hit that diagonal, hit that straight back. You're going straight out to the side on the other leg. Diagonal back, straight back. Good job, give me one more time this side. Beautiful. Now we're gonna keep, we're still keeping it down our ankles. It's nice and easy. We are gonna hit a nice big squat right here. And then two steps over, two steps over. Come up to your toes, squat. Two steps over, up. Guys, it's all low impact today, but I promise I'll be sweating. I hope you'll be sweating too. So two big, two, a squat and then two big steps. Your navel is too spine. Let's talk about your squat. Shoulders stay down your back. Your booty, your navel is too spine as your booty goes back. Okay, strong proud chest. I stay up, that keeps your chest up. Beautiful. We're going back to the beginning with that walkout. You got five, three, start with your arms up high. Good job, squat down, walk it out. Go into that low plank. Here, you're raising a leg, but it's not a huge raise. You're just squeezing your butt. Come back up to high plank, walk it back. Reach all the way up. Come back down to that squat. Walk it out. Yes, Meredith. One leg raise, other leg raise. You're squeezing that booty. Put your hands back underneath you to get that high plank in. Come up. Send that booty back. Hit that high plank. Go into a low plank. Raise one, raise the other. High plank. Walk it back. Time. Good. My heart rate got up with that one. Good job. We have the forward walk. So I'm gonna move back a little bit. You have that soft bend in your knee. Shoulders down your back. And you're doing a little sweep of the leg. Come back. Yes. Wah. Uh, get lower this time. Good. You want to take it sideways? Hit a crab walk. Hit a crab walk. <clears throat> Give me two laterals. One up, one back. Good. And then switch back to forward. Switch it up. When you're walking, I want every muscle lit up in your body, okay? It's not just your legs. Your core is in it. Your shoulders are in it. Good job. Yes. Beautiful. Get ready for that, or oh, our taps, our tippity taps. So, me, you have a nice bend in your leg. We're gonna tap it out to the side, right here. Tap it out, bring it back, diagonal. Bring it back, straight back, bring it back. Side, now you're on the other leg. Good job. I want navel to spine. I want those legs on fire. I want that booty squeeze. Shoulders are down your back. You're breathing. Get your mind and your muscles. Tap it out, tap it out. Good, use your arms. They are not only serving as leverage, balance, strength. Keep going. Cycle from one side to the other. Yes, good. Good job, that was your time. We got our squat to our box, so get ready. I hope you guys are sweating, because I just like company when I sweat. And deep squat. Walk it over, walk it over. All the way up to your toes. Deep squat, walk it over, two steps. All the way up. Good, keep, chest up, navel, spine. Squeeze that booty, walk it. Your quads should be firing up. Send that booty back. Nice parallel feet as you sidestep. Look at your feet, make sure their toes are facing forward. Anytime you have a band on, you have to fight any resistance to pull your knees in, press out. Good. Yes. Time. Beautiful. We have our last round through. 
We're doing our walk out with our plank. Walk out, low plank, leg lift, leg lifts, high plank, walk back. Ready, here we go. Walk it out. Hit that low plank, good. Come up to high plank. One leg raise. Oh, I forgot, you're supposed to leg raise when you're in low plank. Good job. Just leg raise, who cares? Ready? Subtle difference. Get in that low plank. Squeeze that booty. One leg raise. Other leg raise. Back to high plank. Walk it back. Reach up to the sky. Walk it back out. Go down the low plank. One leg raise. Other leg raise. High plank. Good. Good job, time. Good job. Get ready for a walk. Deep breath in. Heart rate should be up from that move because you're going down and up. Down and up. Here we go. Walk it forward. Walk it forward. Good. I want you to get a little lower in that squat. I want your navel to spine. I want your chest up high and proud. I want your chest high and proud all day. Shoulders always down your back when we're working up. Ears and shoulders have no business being together. Good. Sweep that leg. Good, when you get up to the top of this, hit it sideways. Give me a nice lateral walk. Nice lateral walk. Runner's best friend right here. Good job. Get ready for your taps. Back, I mean side, diagonal, straight back. In three, in two, in one. Nice soft leg, tap it. Diagonal, straight back. Switch sides, tap it. Diagonal, straight back. Tap it. Diagonal, straight back. Yes. Tap it. Good job, Heather. Diagonal, straight back. Tap. Diagonal, straight back. If you don't have a band on, you get lower, okay? Good job. Ooh, I hope you're blasting some really good music. Tap it out. Tap it out. Tap it out. Strong. Muscles activate it everywhere. Navel to spine and gets your whole core involved and time. Squat two walks. Okay. Guys, I'm dripping. In three, in two. Hit that deep squat here. Two low walks. And a proud, really proud chest. Send that booty back. Keep that chest up. Ah. Shoulder down your back. Walk it out. Up. Low squat, see if you can get lower. Walk it over, up, down. Navel spine. Ugh. Make sure your knees are not coming in, okay? That resistance is not pulling your knees in. Even though the band's around your ankles, it still can pull your knees in. Time, good job. That was circuit one. So you're one quarter of the way through. So keep that band right where it is. You have a rest, get some water. Grab your other band too. So let me see, we are going down for push-ups, clamshells, Superman. Yes, we are on the floor the whole time. We're doing a push-up, keep your band right around your ankles. Come on down with me. Okay. Um, so, put your bands around your knuckles if you have the light one. Keep your other bands right around your knees. Now you can have your knees on the ground, you could be on a wall. You come down to a push up. You come up, row, row, okay? Push up. If you wanna add a tap out with your leg as you row, that's gonna level that up. Row, tap opposite leg out. Row, tap opposite leg out. When you're pushing up, you're constantly pushing that ground away at all times. Your booty's fired up. You do not let your head drop. Neutral spine, that is time. That went nice and fast. Okay, we're coming over to our side. You're bringing your band up to your knees. You are hitting a clamshell right here, okay? So you are pushing your hips up and opening your leg. You can move your band up above your knees. Squeeze that booty, press up. If you wanna stay on the ground and open your clamshell, go for it. 
or open. Pressing up through your hips, pulling your leg up. Yeah, well, you know what? We'll keep our bend right here for the whole, this whole circuit. Press it up. I want that core engaged. It can come unengaged here, okay? Press into the ground. Ah, raise it. Yes, good job. Have your band handy, right? For your hand. We are going over into Superman. What is happening here is opposite leg, opposite arm, raise and down. Opposite arm, opposite leg, down. Let me show you sideways. With this move, you're firing up your butt. You're keeping a neutral spine. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Exhale as you really raise that leg and raise that arm and get your diaphragm involved. Opposite leg, opposite arm. You have to press out on the arm band if you have it. You're just gonna wanna pull your hands together. Squeeze the booty. Beautiful, that was time. Other, other clamshell. Okay, so switch to the other side. Okay, our elbow, knees, and press up. Or you're right here, okay? You can totally be right here, keeping that hip on the ground and opening and closing. Or as your leg comes up, your hips come up. I want your hips going straight up if they're coming up. Your feet are glued together. Press up. Squeeze that booty, squeeze that core, and press. Good job, keep going. You got this. You're almost there. Clamshells get me. Good job. Get ready for your push-up. So in that push-up, I have my band around my wrist. And I'm going to go down, press the ground away. I'm tapping my left foot out. I'm raising my right foot, right hand towards my shoulder. When you do a push-up, you are pressing that ground away. Your body moves as one unit. If your body is not moving as one unit, I want you to put your knees down or do them against the wall. There should be no hinge in your hips. Booty has no place up in the air. Good job. Yes, good job time. Okay, other side of clamshell. Other side. So you're just like hanging out right here. Oh, what's on TV? Oh, it's the clamshell channel. Let's go, hips up. Again, you can keep your hips on the ground and just press up with your knee. That's a lot right then and there. Or press up. This is the extra. Navel to spine, don't let that core come out of being engaged. It's like I'm trying to get out of the clamshell party. No, you're not. You're my sister, you have to stay. Come on, let's go. Oof. Press it up. Yes. Press it up. Time. Superman. So, or superwoman. You do you, right? Okay. This time, palms are in, we're doing lat pull downs. So you're coming down when you lift your booty up. So, lift both legs up, pull that band down to your chest, back up, down. You, how many times have we done this with no band? A gazillion. Band adds extra, but you don't have a band, you do it. You create resistance in your mind. Pull it down. Shoulders stay away from your ears. When you exhale, you grab your diaphragm to engage your core. Good job, squeeze that booty. Last one. Yes, other side with the clamshell. Okay. Here we are, clamshell together. Feet are together, elbow under. Bring it up. Squeeze that core, hips go up. Press it up. Oh my gosh, so good for your hips. So good for your thighs. So good for your booty. 
And as long as you keep your core involved, good for your core. Core is involved in every movement. It will try and get uninvolved if it's not like the star of the show, but mm -mm, it needs to stay. Gotta share the stage sometimes. Press it up. Good job. Okay, last round, push-ups. So form over everything. So this is not, when your booty goes up, that's not a push-up. It needs to be right here. So if your knees have to go down to leave that booty out of the air, please do that. All right, get started. Hit it. So you're hitting that push-up. Tap one leg out, raise one hand. Squeeze. I want your butt on fire. Crest that ground away. Tap with that foot. Don't let your head drop. Keep that neutral spine. Your chest leads the way. I mean, if you have boobs, because they're like the first thing closest to the ground. Time. Good job. Clamshell. Right? Like they're the closest to the ground. So, okay. Last round, last round. Hit it. Press up. Press against that band. If you don't have a band, you press it on that leg. Your hand, be, other hand could be anywhere. It could be on your hip. Like, hey, what's up? It could be on your head. Press it up. Press through the obliques, through your core. Yes, good job, Michelle. Oh, Mina, crushing it. I know Garber's crushing it. I can't see her, but I know she is. Ah, time. Get ready for Superman. Yes. This time, with those lat pull downs, I want you to change it so your hands are facing up instead of flat down. Thumbs up, okay? Head down. These little, little tweaks in what direction your thumb's facing up will change the primary movers. Deep that subtle, subtle tank. Ready? Hold that. So as you exhale, your diaphragm gets engaged. Again, this move is about length, not that arching your back or curving your back. Good job. Yes. Other side clamshell. That's it. That's circuit two. You're halfway done. Okay. Ready? Get ready. Get ready. Here we go. Clamshell party. Clams on the half shell. Steamed. Clams casino. Ugh. Fried clams. <laughs> Hot sauce with the clams. Ah, keep going, you're more than halfway there. Press it up, again, your hips can stay on the ground and you can open, really press it out. Press it up, make sure you're breathing. Oh, really use your bottom core. This is lighting everything up, friends. Ah, time, good job, that was circuit two. Okay. We're st it's half up and half down for the next circuit. Get a drink of water. Get a towel if you need it. And stand your asses up, people! I'm gonna be nice, I promise. Okay. You're sliding that band back down by your ankles. Your other band, this is one of my favorite moves, guys. Other hand around your knuckles. Okay, staggered stance, right? So we are gonna, your hips are square, just a little wider than hip width apart. That black, black, black leg is bent. I want a squat with a curl, come up, squat with a leg lift. I mean a standing with a leg lift, you're not squatting and standing. Curl, shoulders are down your back, leg lift. Curl, squeeze that booty. Leg lift, curl, leg lift. What's up, Boutte? Good job. 
Just switch sides. Just turn the other way. Set yourself up. So we're hitting a squat, curl, leg lift, lateral arm, uh, frontal arm raise. Squat, and then front arm raise, that leg goes up. Shoulders stay down, away from your ears at all times. You guys go at your own tempo. Oh my gosh, you know what? Yesterday's arm party was super lit, and my biceps are starting to tell me, yeah, why are you working us right now? Because we just decimated our biceps yesterday. Squeeze that booty. Shoulders stay down. Yes, good job. We are going down for a lateral bear walk. So, and then we're gonna stay down for a dead bug. I'm moving you back down with me. Keep the band around your ankles and around your hands. And pop it into bear, flat back. And you are walking one, two, and then two the other way. Don't move your back. Good job. Keep your knees close to the ground. Yes. Try and keep that back as flat as possible. Don't let that booty get up there. You're under 10. Press that ground away. Time. Turn over for dead bug. Make it a little bit up. Hi. Hi, everybody. Dead bug, your bands. I want you to slide them back up around your knee. And round your hands. And you are going to press. Your palms can face down. Your lower and palms are facing your feet. What is happening that is most important in the dead bug is your lower back. It has to be pressed into the mat to get the benefit of this exercise. If the hands are too much, just do the legs. Don't let that heel touch the ground. I'm sure the band will prevent that from happening. Yes, Nina. Yes, Heather. Really energy out your hands and feet. And time. Beautiful. Come back up for that split leg squat. Yes, you know I love my up, up, down, down, right? You know I do. Slide that band back down to your ankles. Here we go. Split leg. You are curling. You come up, you have a frontal arm lateral, frontal raise, not a lateral raise. Navel the spine the whole time. I love that squat. This is a very functional squat, right? This is how most of us are bending down. We're gonna have a staggered stance. Because naturally, there's more balance there. Strong chest. Welcome to the party, biceps, switch to the other side. Switch to the other side. Hips are square, core is engaged. Get ready to hit that squat. Curl and squat, front arm raise, rear leg raise. That's a rear leg extension. So it's a hip extension. Get a nice stretch in your hip as you squeeze the booty. Navel is fine. Toes are facing forward. Heel goes up to the ceiling. Yes, Michelle. Yes. Oh, beautiful. Yes, Scott. Hello, yes, Linda. Yes, Kaya, reach for me. Beautiful. Get ready for your bear walk, people. Come back down to the ground with me. You know my love, my bear. Okay, ready, knees come up off the ground. Baby lateral walks, navel to spine. Work it in your space, whatever you got space for. Is it four? Is it 10? Just make sure you can do the same amount on the other side before time expires. Press that ground away. Keep that back flat, keep your head neutral. Uh, if you have bands on, you are pressing against the bands as you extend. Time. 
Turn it over for your dead bug. Slide that band up by your knees. Okay. And this one's right around your hands, palms facing down, facing your knees. Lower back presses the back. Opposite leg, opposite arm. Arm goes back, opposite leg goes forward. Please, please, please focus on your core. Is your lower back kissing the ground? It's like a long kiss. <laughs> it does not come up for air. Press. Good. Good job. Yes. Come back up. Split squat with the curl, with the leg extension, with the frontal arm raise. That's a mouthful. Get ready. Band goes back around your ankles. Send that foot back. And curl, front raise. Yes, we're back up. Oof. Navel spine. Yes, Meredith. Beautiful, Julia. You know, we got to make use with what we have. There are ways to add resistance and you just get resourceful, right? Squeeze that booty. Every time that leg comes off the ground, squeeze the booty as you press that leg back. Keep that chest proud as you raise your arms. Yes. Other side. Other side. Split squat or split stance. Get ready. Three, two, one. Squat, curl, lift the leg, lift the arms. Shoulders stay down your back the entire time. Yes. Send that booty back, navel to spine, squeeze that butt. Tell you what, my arms are feeling this almost more than my butt. That's because of yesterday's arm party. Make sure your knees track forward. As your booty goes back in that squat, your knees do not collapse. They stay strong and proud right over your toes. Or over the one toes that are forward. But that's forward. Last one. Yes, lateral bear walk. This is our last round, guys, in this set. Then we have one more set. Okay. Hit it. Hit that bear. What I want most of all, flat back, knees close to the ground. So if your booty's coming up, then I want you to take a little dip, put the knees on the ground, and walk. Okay? Walk it out. I don't want your butt in the air. I'd rather have your knees on the ground than your butt in the air. Keep going. You're so close. Neutral, neutral spine. However many sideways you can do, other side. Repeat. Time. Dead bug, move it up. Band up to your knee, just above your knee. Palms facing your knees, band. Straight up in the air. Left leg, right hand, so it's opposite, right? Back is in the mat. Heel, energy out of it. So the band on the wrists, or the fingers, knuckles, is its own thing, right? You gotta keep one is pulling, one is pushing, which is really what every exercise is. Make sure you're breathing. Kiss the ground with your lower back. Press. Yes! That was your, that's circuit three. Guys, low impact, sweating like a beast. Okay, let me, before I get up, I'm just gonna check and see where we are. Side plank, bottom leg crazy, donkey kicks. We're down on the ground for the whole thing. Get a sip of water. And keep your band right above your knees. And you're only using So let me show you this move because there's a couple ways to do it. You can be in a side plank with your knees, I'm sorry, your elbow under your shoulder. I do want the bottom leg bent no matter what you're doing. You're gonna come up and you're raising your leg, okay? If holding this side plank right here is too much, come down and raise it, okay? Just keep that navel spine, join me. So you're doing one side. 
Bottom leg is bent for leverage and balance. You are pressing up with that bottom hip. So your hip is pushing up to the ceiling, okay? You can lay your arm up. You could put it here. Keep going. Squeeze that booty. Squeeze that core. Still at the party. Good job. You're coming over to one side. We're gonna do donkey kick on one side. I want a low arm plank hold here. And we are gonna do curl, feet and toes are curled and you are pulsing two, three, four. And then I want you to straighten your leg, toes point at one, two, three, four. One side, heel, two, three, four. Straight leg, one, two, three, four. Heel, up, two, three, four. Straight leg, one, two, three, four. Heel, two, three, four. Your booty should be burning. One, two, three, four. Time, good job. Other side with that side plank. Leg raise. So it's an adductor, booty, balance. Okay, but in that bottom leg. Come up in the high plank, raise. Put your arm up. What is most important is that booty does not go back. You are a plank, like a plank of wood. So if your booty starts to go back, I want you to bring your hips down to the ground and raise, okay? That is absolutely acceptable because the booty going back is not, it, it disengages your core. Your core is like, I am not doing this. But you have to force it. Push your hips up. Good. Turn it over. So now we're working the same leg, right, in the donkey kick. Forearms are low. Booty is fired up. You are equally distributed over all three points of contact. Three, four. Straighten that leg. One, two, three, four. You bend that leg. Heel up. Two. Three, four, straighten that leg. One, two, three, four. Heel up. Two, three, four. Squeeze that booty. Booty's popping. Two, three, four. Heel up. Two, three, four. Straight leg. Two, three, four. Heel up. One, two, three, four. Good. Other leg. Side plank, side plank. Hips are on the ground or up to your call. Bottom leg is bent. Hands up for extra challenge. Two, three, four. Good, don't let those hips sink. Two, raise it. You got this. Squeeze that booty. You need to put your hips down, you do it, but I want you to challenge yourself. Keep going, you're almost there. Oh, you're almost there, you're almost there. Oof, raise it. Woohoo! Yes, there's that lucky sound I make when my body gets tired. It's like woohoo. Okay, donkey, same leg. Here we go. So you have that heel. One, two, three. Four, I want you to straighten that leg. One, two, three, four. I want you to think of your hips as headlights. Two, three, four. Straighten that leg. They are facing down. Three, four. Heel up. One, two, three, four. I want them square to the ground. One, two, three, four. Up. Two, three, four. Straight. Two, three. Four, heel up. One, two, three, four. Yes. Okay. Okay. Kate, are you leaving me? <laughs> okay, let's do that leg lift. On your side. I'm sorry, I went silent. <laughs> I don't know what. 
you know what I started to do? I started to think about something else I had to do today. And I was like, no, we're right here right now. Stay right here right now. Press those hips up. You have to put your hip down and do that leg raise. Absolutely fine. Keep a strong, strong core. Beautiful time. Flip it over. Flip it over, hit that donkey. Yeah, I know. The way I say donkey does not sound like the right way to say it. So I've been told. Heel up. Three, four, straight leg. One, two, three, four. I want you to make sure your navel's to spine. Two, three, four. Straight leg. One, two, three, four. Hips are square to the ground. Ankle goes up. Straighten that baby out. One, two, three, four. Very booty today. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yes. Good job. Okay, other side of that leg lift. We're almost done. I lost, lost track of leg lifts and donkey kicks, but I know we're almost done with this circuit. Okay, bottom leg. I'm keeping my hips down for this one. I want energy out your core, out your foot, pressing that elbow into the mat. Oh, my booty is on fire. Good job. Try and keep that core nice and flat. There's no hinge in that hip. Press against that band if you have one on. Good job, everybody. Raise it up. Good job. Let's see how many. Oh, we are so close. We are so close. Okay. This is the booty. Wait, we're burning out the booty. So hit that donkey. We're doing the same leg. We were just lifting. Heel, two, three, four. Straighten it. One, two, three, four. I want you to make sure your navel's to spine. So that means engaging your core. Hit that four long. Two, three, four. Constantly playing with your form, making sure your hips, four, one, are square to the ground. Two, three, four. Navel is to spine. Heel goes up to the ceiling. Two, three, Four, you're getting your hammy here. Two, three, four. Heel up. Two, three, four. Time. Okay, I think it's our last two rounds. Oh my God. If it's not, you may see me cry. Okay, I'm gonna keep my hip, my hip down for this one too. And raise it. But it's proud, right? Like the, I'm not gonna, you're not sinking in. You are up, pressing down through your shoulders. Press through that band. Energy in all your muscles. Core is engaged. Yes. I see you, Heather. I see you, Mina. Yes, Meredith. Way to crush that. Yes. Raise it up. Keep going. Yep. Good. Last round of donkey kicks. You do that same leg you just worked. That's called burning it out. At least that's what I call it. Set yourself up. And heel. Two, three, four. Neutral spine. Leg straight. One, two, three, four. Leg bent. One, two, three, four. Leg straight. One, two, three. With that low impact burner. Two, three, four. People are sometimes under the mindset you have to like go cardio crazy to get that burn in, but guess what? You do not. Two, three, four. Benefits in all different kinds of workouts. Two, three, four. Oh my gosh, hit that child pose right now. I like to spread my legs wide, send that booty back. You are done with this part of the workout. I am doing back today. After party will be back. And tomorrow, bring a ball if you're gonna work out. Okay, 
Come up to all fours, give me that cat cow. Tuck your chin, tuck your tailbone, reverse it. Tailbone up, head up. And again, reverse. Press that ground away. Tuck that chin. One more time. Good. And then curl your toes. Come up to down dog. Press the heels in to the ground as you find length in your spine, in your neck. Spread those fingertips and press through your hands to the ground and raise your hips up. Hips go, booty goes to the ceiling. And then I want you to pump your, pump your ankles or your feet. Calf pump. Give those calves some love. Good. All right. If you can, take your band off, but I don't want you to get up all the way yet. What I do want you to do, down dog, go into high plank, bring your right leg forward. So you are a deep runner's lunge. If you need to put your back knee on the ground, you can totally do that. Runner's lunge. Hand that's right next to your foot, your right hand, right foot. Bring it up and rotate. Get that spinal rotation in. Feel it in your booty. Look up at that hand that's looking up. Push into the ground with the hand that's on the floor. Take a deep breath in and come back down with that hand and see if you get your elbow to tap the ground. And then come right back up, hit both hands on the ground. Send that foot back, other foot comes up right on the outside of your hand. You can again, have your back leg bent to the ground if you need to. Bring that left hand up, spinal rotation, hand goes all the way up to the ceiling. You're simultaneously pressing the ground away with your right hand and looking up at your left hand, feeling that in your booty and your back and your legs should both be fired up. Bring it back around, try and get that elbow close to the ground. Good, getting that inner, inner thigh. And then put that hand on the ground. Step that leg back. Go back into down dog. Press that booty up into the air. Long back and walk your feet in. Okay, and hang here for a second. Hang here. And slowly roll up. Slowly vertebrae by vertebrae, vertebrae by vertebrae. Yes, beautiful head nod, Michelle. That was perfect. Roll it. Roll your shoulders back. Oh, you cannot see my head. And roll them down. And then give, your just, give yourself some neck love. Throughout the day, if you feel yourself holding tension in your neck, give yourself a neck roll. One more other side. Actually, you have to be even. One more. Big ass, deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth, shoulders down your back, chest proud. Seize the day. Seize your day. Unmute your beautiful faces. Take a beautiful picture. And <laughs> do whatever you want. Oh my God, I'm stretching my hip flexors while I'm taking a picture. Guys. Drop them back. Elena, thanks for coming in today. Scott, Kaya, Vanessa, anybody want to hang around? I got my super big ass weight that my husband made <laughs> for buying. Oh my God. I love that. <laughs> I made a really good <laughs> back day. <Okay. laughs> they look bigger than the, heavier than they weigh. So I feel extra badass. <laughs> I need some of those. <laughs> I love them. They like, I'll send you the link. Do that. Thank you. Well, I will. I will. I will. But this is like five, it's like 12, 24, 26 pounds probably. Oh, okay. Okay. So this is not bad. Nice. So it's not horrible, but it's good for lats. I could do it with my back. Mm -hmm. um, I'm muting you guys. Let's All get right. after it. Thank you. Ma. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay. Let's hit it. So let me see what I wrote down because I have short memory. Um, split stance row. So 
this. Your lat, your lat muscle literally connects from right here and goes all down your back and then reconnects at your top of your booty to your hips. So it is a massive muscle. Um, it's sometimes hard to engage that muscle, but it can lift a decent amount of weight. Um, so we're gonna do a split stance row. I'm not gonna hit this. Let's hit this one first. So split stance like our split squat and one side nice soft knees if you have a table close by and you want or a chair you want to lean on it a bench absolutely fine if you don't then you're, you're going to just get nice and deep into that split stance you're going to hinge and you're going to put that arm out in front of you most important is not to let it dip you got to stay square okay so you have to pay attention to that your hips square your legs square your no your legs are square pull it back ten nine eight seven, six, shoulder, elbow lined up, four, three, two, one. Good job, other side. So your shoulder and your elbow are lined up and your elbow tracks straight back. So switch sides, navel to spine, shoulder are square, arm comes out a little bit, and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yes. And you want to contract that shoulder blade. You want to squeeze it as you bring it back. Next one is a lat pullover. So we are going to go down to the ground. Um, if you have a bench or something and you want to do it so that your shoulder blades are resting on the bench, your hips are dipped, not hitting the ground, you can do that. I'll do that. I will do that. So what that looks like, if I don't slide off because I'm sweating, sit on it. Or you can actually sit up on the ground and pop your booty up right underneath your shoulder blades. I'm gonna hold on to the both ends of this. Send it back and over. One. Two, three, four, five. Good job. Yes, I love the use of the Swiss ball, Meredith. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, beautiful. Gently, safely, carefully. Okay, so the next one, we're staying low. We're staying low. Let me get my towel. Um, what you want to do here, we are doing a high, we're doing a giant superset. So we're literally hitting the same muscle three times. And then we're going to hit nine times. So. I want a high plank, pull through. So get your weight behind your arm so it's gonna travel under your body, okay? You just angle this a little bit. So if you need to put your knees on the ground, you can. Just, most important is like you keep your hips stable, okay? So your hands are directly underneath your shoulders and your hips are stable and you pull that baby through and you switch sides, pull it through. Pull your weight underneath you, keeping your hips as stable as possible. If you find your booty going up and you're like moving your hips around, I want you on your knees and I want you to pull through, okay? Because stability is the most important thing here. And engaging that core to engage those lats. Keep going. Let's do four more each side. That's four. Four. Keep your neck neutral. Three. Three. Two. Two. Last one. Yes. Good job. 
Okay. Back to the single arm row. Okay, get a drink of water if you need it. Shake your arms up. I'm gonna actually use my ottoman to put my knee on to create a bench row. So many variations of the same move, okay? So many ways to do it. So this, oh my God, my knees are so slippery. So you could have your knee and wrist lined up on something. If you don't have something, you are in a split stance and you are rowing, okay? So one, two, hit it with me, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Well, if you have your knee and hand on something, I want you to have your navel to spine and there's a squareness in your shoulders and a squareness in your hips and you are flat as a board. Energy is out your butt. Okay, and let's hit that. Drawing your arms straight back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Okay, get ready for that lat pullover. Again, you could be flat on the ground and you can have your knees up off the ground on the tabletop if you want or knees bent, feet on the ground. And, or if you have a bench, ottoman, chair, well, stool maybe, low stool. And you're gonna wanna start on the ground and come up to your shoulder blades. So your shoulder blades are just, the, the edge of whatever you're on is just under your shoulder blades. And, Holding up and back. So when you get, come up onto something, one. Hold on, I can't talk. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Good job, everybody. Seven, eight, nine, ah, ten. Good job. Sit on the ground, roll over, <laughs> whatever. Whatever you do, just do it safely. Okay, we're coming into that. High plank, pull through. Again, most important thing is your hips staying stable. So set yourself up in that beautiful high plank. The weight is on one side, you pull through and under. One, one, two, you have a neutral spine. You have to put your knees down, it's fine as long as your booty's not in the air. Three, four, keep pulling it through. We're going for 10 on each side. Halfway there. Good job. Eight. Last round, last one, last one. One. Ah! Oh. oh, I feel it. Okay, we have our split stance row. Split stance row, hold on. I wanna go a little heavier for this round. So, if you have something to put a knee on, and a hand on, go for it. Otherwise, it could be right here, okay? I'll, call, I'll do this with you right here for those that don't have. Square shoulders, 
square hips and 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Booty is electrified. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes. Good job. Other side. Nice deep split squat. This booty is fired up. There's no tucking the booty here. It's sticking out. Okay. And square those shoulders up. Legs are on fire. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yes. Come on, bring back this other baby. Okay. Lat pullovers. Again, you could be on the ground or you have something to raise yourself up. So what that raising does is it increases your range of motion. So you are getting your muscles to work a little deeper. Hold on, let's do this. Let's see. Okay, ready? Shoulder blades come up. And over your head. <sighs> One, two, make sure you're breathing, three, ah, four, so it really lengthens your lat muscles, two, five, five more, yes, go, go, go. Four. Three. Exhaling on that pullover. Two. One. Yes. Good job. Last round. Okay. So, last pull throughs. I'm gonna stretch our chest really good. Set yourself up for success. Beautiful high plank, because we never had enough high plank in today's workout. Core is squeezed, and you pull through. You must have that core engagement to get your lat muscles to work. See if you can pull it through and go a little wider, and then you have to reach a little further. Yes, and pull it through. Good job. Eight, nine, ten. Halfway there. Ten, nine, eight. Squeeze that core. Seven, six. Neutral spine, booty squeeze. Five, four. Three, two, last one. Pull it through. Yes, I may have miscounted on that one. Good. All I want you to do, come down to that child pose. I want you to sew one arm through. So one arm through and under. So you're looking through your armpit. Head is down on the ground to add the extra weight to that stretch. Get in that shoulder, which is connected to your lats. Good job. Bring it back through. And weave the other side through. Thread the needle. Reach with those fingertips. Good, gotta stretch it out. Gotta stretch it out, so important. Injury preventer. Good, bring it through. Reach for child and walk it to one side. Walk it so you feel all the way through your arms, armpit, lats, obliques, hips. So you're pushing your booty back as you're reaching with your fingertips. Beautiful, walk it to the other side and then look it up. Reach. Good. 
Good. Bring it back. Bring it back. Oh, come on up. Slowly get up. Slowly roll up, roll up, roll up. Nothing should be fast. Good job. Good job. Guys, good job. Linda, I hope I wasn't too cray cray today. <laughs>